Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avi Lash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of GBP USD, pound, dollar. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So this is the four chart of GBP USD. But before I proceed, I would like to talk about the chart of DXY. As we all know that DXY had a very strong resistance around 104 level. But right now DXY is trading way above it. Okay, DXY broke the important resistance of 104. If you have watched my previous video, then I clearly mentioned that we have a classic example of an ascending triangle pattern and no market was standing at a resistance, but but we got the indication that buyers were not ready to surrender and we saw that market broke the resistance and market right now going up. My dear friends, sadly, we do not have any immediate resistance on the chart of DXY right now. So if the present situation continues, then DXY will be flying, flying, flying. Okay, and we will see further downside on Euro, USD, GBP, USD and other pairs. So please be careful and especially new traders, beginners, you should mainly focus on protecting your hard-earned money right now. Because this market is extremely volatile, you should mainly focus on gathering experience and learning mostly. Now let's talk about the chart of GBP USD. Things are very bad, sadly GBP USD though right now trying to recover but we can see that market does not have the strength. Try to understand the market emotion here. Okay. See one red candle, okay, and three green candles, okay, but still market does not have the strength to cover the area. So undoubtedly bears, the sellers are dominating this market. If you have a buy position right now here somewhere around here, then please be careful. Once market reverses, please exit from the market immediately. This is the forex sentiment meter. The sentiment meter shows the position of the retail traders my dear friends it shows the position of the retail traders okay and here is our gbp usd and you can see that 80 percent 80 percent retail traders okay 80 percent retail traders have taken buy position or it means they are on the buy side and you can see that the average buy position is around 1.2803 and right now market is trading at 1.2020 it means that more than 500 to 600, 600 pips. My dear friends, holding on to a loss of 500 pips, 600 pips is not a matter of joke. Okay, so see, this is the main reason. Okay, this is the main reason why retail traders lose money. This is the main reason why 90% retail traders lose money because we fail to follow the only rule of the market that is the trend. Okay, right now the trend is very much towards the downside, so it is better to follow the trend only. Yes, trend reversals also come in the market, but as of now, we do not have any news, any fundamental factor to support the trend reversal yet. Once any news come out regarding uh, any positive news, we should be looking for sell position only until and unless we get a good news on GBP. Okay, so please be careful and if you have a buy position or if you are in a loss of 400 to 500 pips, 400 to 500 pips, my dear friends, please, please, please uh, protect your hard earned money. Okay, because capital is the most important thing for a trader. And if you are looking for a fresh entry into the market, so things are quite critical. So still, I'll try to explain. First of all, we can see that the blue line, okay, the blue line is the 50 moving average. Yes, the 50 moving average is acting as dynamic resistance. And we can also draw a trend line here. So if we combine these two factors, then there is a possibility. Yes, there is a possibility that while market will be trying to recover, okay, it will face selling pressure around this level again, around 1.2, uh, 1.2280. 1.2300 around this level market will face some selling pressure again if that happens observe the market observe the market and see how the market is reacting whether the market is facing the same selling pressure around the 50 moving average around the trend line or not if you see the market is facing the same selling pressure then you get the confirmation that yes the line the trend line the 50 moving average is really acting as a dynamic resistance and you can take a sell position 
But yes, observation first. Observation is the most important thing for a trader. If you see market reversing, take a sell position. But if you see that market does not have the strength, market is unable to go up, market market is failing to go up. Okay, in that case, though no need to do anything, there is a possibility that market will break this low. Okay, market will break this low and market will start going down again. If that happens, okay, yes, there is also high chance because right now we do not have any positive news for British pound. Okay, so if that happens, okay, if market breaks this, you can take a sell position again. You can take a sell position below the previous uh, low or below 1.2160 or 1.2150. 1.2160 1.2150 below this level okay if you see that market is going down again market is crashing again dxy is flying again okay if that kind of scenario again comes up okay market will go down and you can take a sell position below this level and your target will be 1.2070 this will be your immediate target you need to book your profits here Okay, you need to book your profits around 1.2070 and I think that this should be your no trading zone 1.2070 1.20 sorry 2000 this will be your no trading zone and you should be booking your profits here if you have a sell position or if you take a sell position because see 1.2000 is not only a not only a support on a weekly chart but it also it also holds a very important role as a psychological support for a market okay so as a result i'll say that this can be a buying a buying zone for gbp usd later on but as of now we do not have anything anything to support a buy position on gbp usd later on okay any news any news may come out okay anyone may give speech and all okay but as of now we do not have anything as of such so please please uh, follow the trend of the market I think that will be wise for us yes trend reversal may come but yeah, but right now we do not have any news to support that this can be a good level for a buy but still we do not have any clear picture okay so please be careful follow proper risk management bye bye take care This fails, I don't know <laughs> what will happen. I think uh, market will recover.